Hi there. Uh, I'm Roberto Tiley. I work at The Guardian in the UK. And I wrote a tool called the, the BFG, uh, which is like a, a simpler, faster alternative to Git Filter Branch. Uh, basically, addressing the problem of you having unwanted crap in your Git history that you want to get rid of, uh, that you can't get rid of with a simple rebase because it sort of pervades your entire project. Uh, yeah, so it's a faster and simple alternative to Git Filter Branch, getting rid of unwanted things. So, for instance, big files um, that might make your repo really large to download or um, passwords, maybe you want to share your repository on an external hosting provider and you don't really want everyone to see your old passwords, even though obviously you should have changed them. So are oh, we going with VGA? Cool, old style. This is why I have a ThinkPad because you know they still have VGA connectors. Um, is that gonna work? Okay, so who has seen the video of the BFG? Anyone? We got some people at the back there. Hey, hi there, man. Um, okay, well, seeing as not everyone put their hands up, I'm going to play you the video. Um, right. Okay, so one of the main compelling points is that it is faster. And so to demonstrate that, <laughs> I, uh, I, I put it onto a Raspberry Pi, which is uh, like a... 25 pound computer, very cheap computer. I have one here. Where is it? You can see that the BFG's command was substantially simpler. And this is a little 700 megahertz device compared with like a nice big quad core Mac, which is, you know, a nice computer. And so they set off, and look, the, the uh, filter branch starts off with a major lead. That's pretty good. And uh, there's the BFG running in the background. That's a little screen showing what the the Raspberry Pi is up to. Ah, uh, but the BFG is catching up, even though it's running on this. Uh, yeah, and as we speed up even faster, we can see that, uh, wow, the BFG is like totally taking the lead here. It's like 41,000 commits. And, um, and so there you go, whoosh. Updating the refs, slowest part. <laughs> so that took 25 minutes on that bit of hardware, this bit of hardware. And so the end results, uh, the Mac took 45 minutes. BFG took 25 minutes on the Raspberry Pi. And if you have a regular bit of hardware, <laughs> maybe not this, then it'll take a minute or so. And, you know, if you have like a gigantic repository, you might have an overnight job on your hands, especially if you're doing something complicated. So I'm just going to show you um, like a few things that the BFG makes easy. Um, whoa, not that. Screw it. Anyway, yeah. So uh, removing a file, that's how you do it with the BFG. Uh, delete the rake file. Uh, with git filter branch, that's pretty much just stand command. Like, I mean, I know that all of the options are there. It's a great chainsaw, but um, it's like for the specific task that a lot of people want to use git filter branch for, which is just removing lots of history, then probably stuff like that is, is easier. It's just going to delete every copy of a file with that name that it can find. And you can use globs and regexes and stuff if you want to. Um, now, supposing you have massive files uh, clogging up your repo, then that is how you do it. And I'd, maybe Git for the branch isn't the best tool for doing that. I, I'm not sure, but I've never really found an answer that was shorter than massive Python bash script or whatever. And then, um, yeah, if you want to remove a, f a, a bunch of passwords, just just uh, put a bunch of those passwords into your file and run it against the repo. Uh, or you could use a sed, you know, in the Git filter branch. So, you know, it's just a bit easier, and you can use wildcards and substitutions if you want to. Um, all right, yeah, it treats you like a reformed alcoholic in that it's not going to play with your latest commit, right? That's like a principle that you're supposed to be clear tidying up your current history. I'm just going to tidy up all your, your current commit. I'm going to tidy up your history, all the stuff in the past. And so if you run the BFG and it turns out you're trying to delete passwords, it says, oh, there's actually still passwords like this in your current commit. Maybe you should clean that up before we continue because I'm not going to touch them. Um, so you're a reformed alcoholic, someone who's made mistakes in the past, but now you've cleaned up your act. Um, and, oh, yeah, and this is just a little nice tweak. Uh, so your commit messages might reference other commits, and the BFG will fix those commit messages if it, the commit ID resolves to something that it knows, and it will just say, oh, this was formerly that commit. 
And so uh, hopefully it's a nice, friendly way of cleaning out your history. And we've used it a lot, The Guardian. It's been used uh, in the UK government on some of their repos and various places. So it's relatively reliable. It's built on um, JGIT, uh, written in Scala. So you can script it if you want to in any JVM language that you like, if you like any JVM language. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, that's it. Thanks very much. <laughs>